This is the instructional video for a one-point calibration of a symphony pH meter. Before you begin your calibration, make sure you have the following items. First, your symphony pH meter with a pH and temperature probe on a stand, a waste beaker, deionized water, one buffer solution, and some Kim wipes. Before you begin, also make sure the two probes are plugged into the appropriate ports at the back of the instrument. Remove the bottle of electrode storage solution from the end of the pH probe and rinse both probes well with deionized water. Then blot them dry with a Kim wipe. Also ensure that the band covering the vent hole of the pH electrode has been moved so that the hole is no longer covered. Place the probes in your chosen buffer solution. Either pH will work, there should be 4 or 7 available, and swirl the container gently to get rid of any bubbles around the ends of the probes. Press the on button to turn on the instrument. Allow the probes to sit in the buffer solution for about a minute before entering calibration mode. To go into calibration mode, press the cal button. PH Cal should appear on the screen. Cal 1 should then appear, and the instrument should automatically read the correct pH of the buffer solution. You will know that the reading is stabilized when the pH icon on the right side of the screen stops flashing. Press Measure to save the value for the calibration. The screen should change to read SLP at the bottom. Press Measure a second time, and the screen should revert back to showing the correct pH measurement. The value of the buffer solution should also be shown above the pH reading on the screen, and the measurement icon should be shown in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. The instrument can now be used to measure the pH of samples as needed, as long as the probes are rinsed with deionized water between samples. When you are finished using the instrument, rinse both probes with deionized water and blot them dry. Also make sure to move the band around the pH electrode so that the vent hole is covered back up. Finally, replace the bottle of electrode storage solution on the end of the pH probe. The instrument can now be turned off and returned.